Good morning. It's coming up on 11 past 5, and we're uh, checking the uh, put rainfall uh, in our uh, digital rain gauge. The Doppler radar being able to estimate how much rain has come down, has come down 27 hundredths of an inch here at our Valley News Live rain gauge. In the last six hours in the overnight, not a whole lot of more rain has happened, uh, but it is potentially going to fall on eastern North Dakota, moving up into the northern end of the valley. The arrowhead of Minnesota and southern south central parts of Minnesota having the greatest potential for more rain. Uh, the, I think we're a little off here. This uh, yellow, dark green, light green area is more like uh, Ransom Sargent in western Richland. Also Barnes and uh, Cass County, western Cass County getting the potential for some pretty good rains. Let's uh, check out the hour-by-hour hour forecast. That's what we have. Southeastern North Dakota seeing some rain that will be tracking northward. And I think uh, the area where we'll see the most rain will be a little bit further east of where this system is uh, tracking. And yes, after we see this morning push come through, Mother Nature is slowly turning the spigot off. Except for maybe an isolated thunderstorm could pop up this afternoon. Most of the active weather is to the south of us robbing us of potential moisture. 46 Grand Forks, 48 in Fargo by the uh, 10 o'clock news tonight. Tomorrow morning in the 40s for most everybody. There'll be some 30s up in the Roseau Thief River Bidette area. And look at tomorrow afternoon. We're going to spend the day in the 50s. Looks like Saturday, more much of the same with temperatures uh, about 60. Uh, a very, very cool beginning. And yes, the high likelihood of frost in northern Minnesota come early Saturday morning. But both Friday afternoon and Saturday do look dry. Our just a little on the cool side. Overnight, rain has been tracking northward and into eastern Ransom and western Richland County, up into uh, Barnes County. It's uh, moving. Got some big storms here. Still heavy rain falling with some flash flooding going on around Lincoln, Nebraska. But Omaha's getting the, the same place that was having the problems with strong storms and flooding and tornadoes. Got it going on again today from south and east of Oklahoma City, north of Wichita Falls just had a severe thunderstorm warning pop up. We don't have any of that, nor do we have the snow that's going on out in Wyoming. And guess where the worst weather will be today? From south of Lincoln, Nebraska, all the way down to Dallas, Texas. Very same spot. Our winds southeast, 18 to 20 miles an hour. We have 63 Fargo, 48 Rapid City. 65 in the Twin Cities and a cool 45 Glendive, 46 out there in the uh, northwest corner of North Dakota. So a damp beginning, showers breezy and mild with heavier rain this morning tapering off this afternoon. Showers ending and breezy overnight tonight. Tomorrow in the 50s, Saturday starting low 30s up in northern Minnesota. And for Mother's Day, by afternoon, we'll see some rain and thunderstorms. Got some uh, sprinkles and drizzle going on right now. 